Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about how you can create your first job in Jenkins. So if you land it first time, when you log in first time, and if you don't have any job, you will see this page. So you have a different ways to create job here, options, create from here or here in left hand side, you will see the new items. So if you have particular job already, you will see those jobs here in this center section. So let me create your first job. I'll talk about while creating this job, I'll talk about the different options where you can see what. So let me create your first job. You will see a options here. First, you have to add the name of your job and you have to choose what kind of a job you need. You can have different options based on what kind of plugins you have installed. So right now I only install suggested plugins. So I see these much of options that can be different in your case. So I added a name, let's say files list and I choose this freestyle project and I say, okay. So this, this has been created. If you see in this dashboard and my name of my job and this configurations. So now you can configure your job. You have some options here based on the, as I said, based on the plugins you have installed, you may see the different options. You may see more options based on your plugins, based on kind of projects you created. Means I created freestyle. If you create something else, you may see some other options. So I'll keep this job very simple, very, very simple. So you can configure from here or go to the dashboard. Now you will see these jobs, right? Files list. So you click on here and you will see an op option called configure. It will show the changes means whatever the, when you push something and this job is execute, what are the changes? We'll talk that later one by one. The important part is two stuff here. One is configure build now. If you want to trigger this job, you can trigger using build now. For now, we did not configure it. So let's configure it by clicking on this. So you will land on the same menu. Let's say you can give some description. Okay, so I'll not choose anything as of now. We'll talk these about later one by one. Source code is nothing for now. Trigger how I want to trigger. No, I don't need anything. Delete workspace before build. So what I'll do, it create a workspace. So before I execute this every time, it will delete my previous build workspace. Okay, so let it be now. Build step. Now you will see build step. Based on the other type of job, you can get some other options here. So let's do it. So there's a number of options what you can choose. Execute windows batch command and so many things so what i'll do i'm on mac so what i'll do i execute shell here right now i'll write some command so right now whatever it will fetch it will fetch from the workspace of jenkins where the workspace is so you you can find your workspace here uh, in your users and you'll find a directory called dot jenkins let me go back let me show you that okay so g i'm on mac g and users and uh, let me show you the hidden files. So you will see a directory here, Jenkins. So this is the workspace, right? This is the workspace. So whatever I write means whatever I do, it will try to find it there. So what I'll do first, I have a folder. I have a folder on my system. This one, let me do this code base here. This is my folder. So what I want to do, I want to list the files, all the files inside this folder. So what I'll do, I'll copy okay uh this one i'll copy the path of it copy path so what i'll do cd right now so using cd command you know it will move to other directory so what i'll say cd to this directory then next step is ls hyphen r hyphen l don't worry about this command what is what this command do this is just to show you about the Jenkins job, don't worry about this command. So this is the Linux command, which give you the list or the direct means files or the directory. Recursive means it will go in every subfolder and list means it will give you a list. So that's all, don't worry about this. Intention here is how you should know about the jobs. Okay, so apply, I don't have any post build action as of now, save it. So our one job is ready. Now let's trigger this job, right? go to the before trigger let me go to this dashboard you can see dashboard here go to the job again and let me build this notice here right as soon as i build you will see the number here hash one that means the it executed first time and it's a green that means it's a successful right so 
whatever whatever it happened if you want to check the information about that build right build was very small because i just wanted to print if it take long time so you will see a bar here right so let's go there click on this you will see now here so no changes i don't have any code changes right because in future we'll see by this job will be binded to some code or something right so here whatever happened you can check the logs in console output go to the console output and if you see here build is in workspace this one which i showed you and now it created a workspace for a specific job right it went there it went cd which i mentioned and then it ran a command now you will see the this information which actually this command gave so these are the files and this and don't worry about this what it is happening and last time it will say the success so that way you can check your console output whatever the console output it, it, it let's say if it is failed so you can see all the information here you can straight away go to the uh, jobs workspace by clicking here it will move you to the last build uh, workspace so if you go but right now this is not generating anything so you won't find anything here in future i'll show you something else as well when i'll generating some files and all so don't worry about it now so that and if you come back to your dex you know dashboard you will see here it is executed if you let's say it is fail you may see some different sign here you can see some other uh, information like last success uh, how much time back it was last success failure if it is failure and the duration how much time it took to execute so that's how you can create very simple jenkins job in coming tutorial we'll see the more complex job will integrate these jenkins to other systems as well i hope you understood if you have any question add your comment thank you